Welcome to another quick little yoga video that we're doing. Um, today we're going to be working on legs up the wall, one of my favorite things, favorite poses to do, one that I highly recommend to all my clients or members of our gym to do regularly. Sorry, if I pause, it's because of the road noise that I'm just kind of pausing for a second. One of my favorite things about legs up the wall is when you learn to relax with your legs up the wall, you are practicing the complete polar opposite of activity, which is receptivity. I know, big word for me. So right now we're gonna get on the wall. Coach Jimmy here is gonna show you how exactly to get down on the wall. Not like that. There's several different ways you can do it. Just find what's ever easiest for you to get down to the wall and try to get your legs up it.
So here you're going to think about focusing on that breath, really big inhales and exhales. Now, as you exhale, you're going to press your heels into the wall. And then exhale, press. Inhale, you're going to release pressing. And exhale, you're going to press again. Do this three to five times.
no wider. It can be closer to that left leg. You get a nice inner thigh stretch. Maybe sometimes cramps. So in yoga, cramps happen. Remember that. Take a really big breath in here. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring that left leg up. Support that lower back as you lift the other leg to meet the other one. Go back to walking out your feet, flexing, pointing together or opposite. So how does one side feel compared to the other? You feel unbalanced? They definitely feel unbalanced. I feel pretty balanced and I think I'm going to lay flat on my back. So, from here, as you exhale, you're going to bring that left leg down. Left foot down to the wall. Flex that foot and then cross it over the right knee. That's right. I make guns with my fingers to know right to left. So remember to keep that left foot flexed. Takes the twist out of the knee. And then if you want to take this just a little bit deeper, you start to bend that right knee. Remember keeping those hips down. So anytime the hips start to come up, you start to sacrifice the lower back just to find the stretch through the hamstrings. So remember one rule of yoga is always listen to your body. If you start to cramp, come out of it and just get right back up into it when you're done cramping. Focus on that breath. Really big inhales and exhales. Then when you're ready, start to straighten up that right leg. And then as you exhale, you're going to send it all the way down to the floor. Left foot meets the floor. left foot on the floor. You can sit here for a second, settle into this, and then when you're ready, focus on that breath again, belly breath. We're working on the twist here, so as you inhale, really focus on expanding that belly, and then as you exhale, press that knee to the wall. So three different ways to do it. You don't have to press the leg to the wall. You can move dynamically, so inhale, you release, exhale, you press, or exhale, you press and hold. Let the hip do the work. You don't want to press ever. You don't ever want to press hand into the knee to take it a little bit deeper. You're just taking that twist even deeper that the knee is not supposed to be in. Then when you're done with this, you simply lay that left leg on top of that right. this breath. Inhales and exhales. So Coach Jimmy, do you feel this on the same areas that you did when you did it in the other direction? Where do you feel it on this one? Mainly my left side through my left glute. Left oblique, left glute, out of the leg on my right. So this time as Coach Jimmy comes to the right, thank you, <laughs> he feels it on his left entire side, rib cage down into the hip, nothing on the right oblique. So doing these, you can also find weaknesses and strengths or where you need to stretch more. So remember, as you lift the first leg up to that half split, it's on the inhale. So as you inhale, start that inhale and then let the leg follow. Inhale, lift that leg. I heard that. That was a good pop. So Dylan's body is popping. So that means his body is already thanking him for the work he's doing. Remember, focus on that breath. Big inhales, big exhales. Anybody feel this inner thigh, groin area? Where do we feel it? Oh, out of hips. 
So I see everyone feels it in different areas. When I do this, it's all inner thigh. I will never tell you where you should feel it. I am not your body. So when you get that right leg to meet the left, it's on the exhale. So take a big breath in. Start to pull that navel in the spine and start to lift that right leg up. Remember, go back to flexing and pointing those feet. And then you're going to take your feet out into a feet. Checked in with your body, send the legs back up the wall. Good. Now the fun part about legs up the wall is getting back down from that position. So you can just roll to one side, push yourself up. We're going to go belly down onto the mat next. So when y'all are ready, get down in any way you want to. Belly, you're going to go face down onto the mat. With arms out to a T. Still focusing on that nice long inhales and exhales. You're going to slide your right knee closer to you. Lift that right leg up. Point it. Point the toes. Point the toes. No, lift the leg cross, not the foot. The leg on the foot. And then with that hand closer to you, you're going to push and bring that right foot close to that left hand, as close as possible. So here we're just going into a scorpion. You've closed the hip flexors for a long time with the legs up the wall, so you just want to kind of reverse that action. Stretch it out a little bit. Plus, if you did Monday and Tuesday's workouts, we did a lot of push-ups and upper body, so nice good little stretch for that. Hold it as long as you need to, then release it and switch sides. I have to give it up to my yoga models here. They're doing pretty good today. We got Dylan McHugh, James McHugh, a.k.a. Coach Jimmy, and Cross McHugh. These are our two young athletes from college station middle school. They don't have school, so they still get physical education with us. Hold it as long as you need to. Let that leg go, and then think maybe lifting up into a little cobra, whatever that is for you. It can be small, it can be sphinx pose, 
cobra pose, up dog, whatever it is to open the front side of that body. What up, dog? Cross the knees and shoulder blades together. So anytime you're in this position, so can you show me what hanging out in the shoulder sockets is? Shoulder sockets. We don't want to be hanging out in the shoulder sockets, so we want to push the floor away from us and bring, you think about broadening through the shoulder blades and squeezing that backside together. And then y'all can let this go. You can hold it as long as you need to. This is just to help you work off the opposite sides that we had closed from doing legs up the wall so much. Good work, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And remember, when you put cars past, the greatness, the best thing about legs up the wall is that it teaches us positive results. Positive results can come from doing less not more. Hope y'all have a fantastic rest of your day and see y'all later. Wear your seatbelts. Wear your seatbelts. Wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. That was 22